Alright. Uh, I played around with that thing. That needs a belt, a gas tank, and a battery. Uh, I tried charging a battery, but it just don't work. But I made it run. It crank up and run and cut grass. That belt's got a bad spot in it. So, I redirected all my efforts back on this thing again this morning. And, <clears throat> open it up. I have installed the glow plug light, which is just a wire. And then I rewired the ignition to where it works, right? And uh, let's give it a little fuel. Work like a charm. Well, I'm supposed to turn it backwards and go t 20 seconds. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I can do it either way, backwards or forwards. The key is supposed to start the, the tractor, but it don't. Somebody put a button on there, so uh, I need a new ignition, really. All right, now we'll turn it to on. Well, I'll just give it a couple seconds right there because it works that way, too. And I got that working over there. The R, it don't, the gauge, the <laughs> RPM manual gauge thing don't work. Let's give it a little fuel. Now is that not awesome? That's awesome. <clears throat> that little dude, it don't get red hot, but it will get red hot. But what it does, it completes the circuit all the way through to the glow plug. And I double checked that because I put the meter on it and tested every one of the dad gum uh, terminals on the ignition. The switch. So now I need to take this one right here and run it to the battery. So it charge the battery all the time. But it might be charging the battery now, I don't know because uh, my little light don't come on anymore. It was coming on where it wasn't charging, so I've redone all that. So I could be good to go. I need an exhaust. She just purrs like a little kitten, and I love it. I found another tractor identical to it. It's an 85. It doesn't have the loader. Oh, I put rubber grommets in this thing, too. Right here, I put brand new grommets in. Uh, they came out of a uh, different thing. It was, and it was the exact same size and everything. Uh, they're actually uh, air compressor pump washers I mean rubbers to when uh, on the air conditioner well, I'm digging that shit man no more grinding that starter just get the damn thing cranked yeah hey, yeah awesome uh, I actually <laughs> I had to go buy this thing and well that was fun they had uh, they literally had all the wires grounding out essentially on the ignition uh, what you got is 19 and 17 just strictly for the glow plugs you know and then they had the grounds all hooked up on uh, 19 so I disconnected all that moving around to this terminal over here and uh, man everything works on it now I, I'm tickled to death on it uh, and then the uh, the cylinder for the ignition is about that big around and on the back of it that thing's just loose you can feel it moving so that when you turned it you weren't getting contact on all the where it was supposed to on the inside because you could take and do that number like that and push the back in so I just took and wrapped me a zip tie around the outside of it put two zip ties across this way and uh, pull that thing tighter than Dick's hat band and 
uh, mashed it all back down. I, I pulled it all back together. So it's shit. I'm happy. And I might trade this. Try to anyway. Because there's a there's a guy that's got a T300, a Scorpion T300. It's, I don't know what make that is. But it's a day dong motor. But it's a 30 horsepower. He wants 800 for it. And boy, the tires look brand new on the thing. Now, another guy's got a uh, CK30, which uh, she got issues on that one because it throwed a rod through the side of the block. <clears throat> but then there's this other guy, and he wants 300 for that one. 800 for the Scorpion, the T300, which I could probably rebuild it as long as it ain't damaged. And this guy's got one identical to this. The only difference is it's an 85. Uh, this is an 86, 4, 6, I think. I can't remember. But he doesn't have rear tires. So I'd have to take these off if I was to buy his for 1000 which I'm going to trade. Whoever I can deal with, I'm going to trade. But I'd like to have another one identical to that because then I got parts, extras, and stuff. And the wheels, they should be here tomorrow. Uh, they're going to be nice, too. I hope they fit, uh, the lugs and all that. Once I get the wheels, the tires put on the wheels, the wheels mounted on the tractor, I'm getting a seat for it. And then we'll crank this thing up, turn it around, back that bush hog up in here on this concrete, and we'll sharpen them blades on it, and then get out there and start mowing. Then I'll tackle the job of uh, replacing hoses and stuff. But really the only thing I need to replace right now is this. I got the bucket up off the ground a little bit. I need to replace that fitting right there. This one. And I'll probably replace that hose and this hose as well. Just go ahead and take those two and get them replaced. <clears throat> get them longer. And then get me a couple big zip ties and bring them up here. So that they're not down in here anywhere, see. And I have them mounted in here. <clears throat> and then once I get them, all the hoses routed, I'll come back and I'll tack some, well, like these things. Well, this right here. I'll make some little, one here, one over here, one back there. There's supposed to be one over there for sure. And I'll put one right here in the middle on this one. Keep the hoses away from these things right here these two oh yeah yeah <laughs> and I need to shorten my battery cables I got plenty of battery cable trust me that's ground by the way yeah and I still hadn't charged it it's still doing its thing uh, I took the key out but man I'm tickled to death uh, you just get them glow plugs hot and she just fire right up no problem I was grinding that starter away trying to get it hot and get it to crank it is, <laughs> there it was I went to the store and tried to get some cigars I've been gone for about two hours really uh, the one place and then go to Dollar General then the Walmarts and then all that and I came back because all I did was I just tested it and once I got it all put together I tested it and then shut it right back off and left. And, can, and there it is. That she cranks like a charm, man. Love it. So it's this time, right now. <clears throat> and I got a fuel pump coming for that thing. Uh, I'm taking the bed off. The bed's gonna come off. I'll slide it back, really. Uh, I don't want to work on the ground and lower the tank down. I mean, that is a pain. It's a lot easier to just take four bolts out of the bed and pull the wiring harness and slide the bed back, you know, and then you can get to the tank and everything. I did it on the Sonoma that I had. It was a lot easier that way, but now I got a big long pipe, so that'll make it even easier. I'll stick that pipe across the frame and it'll just roll back. I'll hook my cherry picker up and I'll pick up the ass end of the bed with the uh, ball where the hitch is supposed to go and just walk it straight backwards and then put the tank on and then walk it straight forwards. 
a lot easier than working on the ground. And I got to get uh, ties and stuff. Get all them. That, that's a battery cable hanging down right there. And as a matter of fact, that is the uh, one that goes to the starter from the battery. I get that tied up and get it out of the way. But that's all we're waiting on now, fellas. Loving it. And I love my little bench. I can roll that thing out and roll it right in. No problem. Well, there you have it. And then it shot button, all that other good shit. That baby runs. <laughs> Bye.